Hello guys once again, and uh, well, I've become a little bit of addicted to Magic the Gathering again, and that's good, because it's fun to be addicted, and it's fun to play good games. And I made myself a uh, Magic the Gathering deck, yeah, and I'm going to go through it with you guys, so you know what I'm talking about. It's a blue and red deck, and I'm going to go from the low cost cards to uh, the expensive cards, yeah. Starting off with this card, it's uh, sort of an annoyance card, really. Yeah, uh, you return a tap creature card, so then my opponents won't be able to attack me, and I will scry one, and that means I can look at uh, one of my top cards and put it on the top or the bottom of my library. That's pretty good. Uh, I got some counters in here. I got Disappearing Act, uh, which let me uh, well put a card, uh, a creature from uh, back to my hand and that will let me trigger for example this once again so that triggers when this enters play so that's pretty cool and uh, it also acts as a counter spell moving on to my secondary counter spell in here it's called uh, indicious will and I actually get to choose here what I want to do and you can see for yourself uh, the effects right there and moving on to uh, uh, this one, it's uh, return target permanent uh, eye control and another one to your opponent's hands and that's also quite good. I also got some uh, uh, enchanted auras here so that's kind of nice if I want to like uh, pause the game for a guy, kind of annoying, yeah. And I also have the same effect right here. Uh, which is pretty cool, I must admit. It's uh, it's a cool effect, and uh, uh, yeah, you can see from the cards here that how many I have in the deck. Uh, moving to my attack-oriented cards here, uh, I can enchant a creature, and it will get plus two, plus zero, and it can't be blocked. So that's yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty decent actually. Uh, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, yeah. I should move over to my artifacts now. I got this guy right here. Since uh, Kaladesh uses a lot of energy counters, which I think is awesome. Uh, so then I get to put a plus one plus one counter on a creature. So that's kind of cool. And uh, this means that when this enters play, I can enter a Put a counter on it. Next is uh, this guy right right here, <coughs> and I can like uh, it just gives me more energy, to be honest. But I can return target creature uh, eye control, so that means I get to trigger, for example, this guy again. So that's awesome. Uh, this artifact right here, key to the city, because I got key to the city right here right now. I can discard a card, and up to one target creature can't be blocked this turn, which is an awesome effect. I don't got that many creatures in here that are that awesome, but it's cool to have nonetheless. And I can draw a card with it as well if I pay two. Uh, this one is really aggressive. It's uh, I pay five energy, and I deal three damage to either a target creature or player which is awesome and I also got these that will make me since I got a lot of draw card effects in here it's good to have this cuz then I can exile purple time place and shuffle my library into my deck again which is cool and I have two of those and then we have this guy I, I want to uh, keep this uh, dude cuz he can do all sorts of things here. Yeah, I can get flying, vigilance, or lifelink if I have uh, not so much life. And I also got Felgri Familiar, which helps me with both life and I can draw a card, which is pretty cool. And to protect my artifacts, I got this dude, and that means artifacts I control have hexproof, which means they can't be targeted with spells and stuff. And if I got the highest uh, costing my, uh, artifact, I can draw a card, 
which is also quite good. Moving over to my creatures then. And my main creature in this deck is this guy right here. Uh, when an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, Reckless Fireweaver deals one damage to each opponent. And the more I have of them, the more damage I do. And I got four of them, which is max. And that's, yeah, uh, that's pretty decent, I must say. Moving on to this dude right here, or girl, World Red is Roo. Uh, when World Roo enters the battlefield, you get three energy and pay three and create a one color stop your artifact. And that's uh, artifact, so that also triggers this dude again. So, pretty decent stuff, pretty good. Uh, I also got a spell uh, right here. I think I forgot to mention this. Uh, it's a sort of a panic spell. It's if an, uh, I have to sacrifice an artifact, but this deals three damage to all creatures. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's a really powerful thing. It's just uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this though, because I got a lot of creatures in here that have that amount of life. So that would probably destroy me as well. But it's a panic button. And I got this girl right here. Uh, then I get an artifact again. But I can boost artifacts now. Uh, and I can also make it so that the artifact creature can be blocked. So that's pretty good. Moving rapidly on to this thing here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a sorcery. And it makes me take control of a permanent of uh, target opponent, which is pretty darn awesome. And next here we got the experimental aviator. Uh, yeah, you can see for the south there, it's two colors. Chopped artifacts. So let's see if I throw this dude out here, and he gets to create two colors stop their artifacts. And I got four of these. That means that I do eight damage to my opponents. And that's also, quite good. Yeah, we got an enchantment here. When an artifact or artificer enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. I don't got many artificers in uh, this deck right here, but I do got a lot of artifacts, so that's pretty decent. And I can, uh, so that makes me get energy, and I can pay five to draw three cards, which is cool. Uh, this is my par most powerful creature in here, I think. It's a uh, Gear Seeker Serpent, and it costs one less for each artifact you control. Yeah, uh, I can also make it unblockable. So, that's pretty uh, awesome. And I think I just covered uh, everything now. Yes, I think I have. So, last but not least, we got the Planeswalker. Sally Rai, yeah. And this girl is awesomeness in herself. Yeah. You can just read here. So a planeswalker works like this. You do one of these things each turn and you increase the life counter approximately. Uh yeah. So she can deal one damage to each opponent. She can create a token as a copy of target artifact. Uh, yeah, and I can search my library for up to three artifact cards with different names, put them into the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Which is, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this dude right here. We got the combustible Garok, and you can read from there. It costs a bit, but you can read from there that, yeah. Uh, this guy is pretty darn mean, you know, and he's got first strike as well, so uh, Not much more to say about that So yeah, Kaladesh, really cool. I hope you like my deck and I got about 13 blues and 7 red lands So that makes that a total of 60 cards on this deck Kaladesh, awesome. I know it's not the newest uh, series from uh, Magic the Gathering, but I think that Kaladesh is one of the best to arrive in a very long time, so kudos to you for that. Uh, what are you called? You're called uh, uh, 
uh, Wizards Wizards of the Cups. Oh yeah. So that's it. Uh, fi uh, finally getting to do some movies again. Uh, we ha still haven't moved from this apartment, but we sold it today for 1.6 million kroner. And it's not like top dollar for these uh, apartments, but uh, there's a lot of apartments uh, out there now. And we didn't want to dwindle too much because it costs having a guy selling our apartments. So we just needed to get it out quickly there and woo -ha, now it's sold. So thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulate me and looking forward to moving into the new apartment. And uh, in case you were wondering, this is for you. I love you. There you go.